you state your name? Tara Levesey. Can you spell your last name? L-E-V-I-C-Y. Ms. Levesey, how are you employed? My primary job is emergency department nurse, full time. I'm also employed by Duke University Medical Center as a sexual assault nurse examiner. I'm also employed by Duke University Medical Center as a sexual assault nurse examiner. Is that also known as a SANE nurse? Yes, it is. What is your educational background? I have a degree in nursing, Bachelor of Science in Nursing from the University of Southern Maine, and also a Bachelor of Arts and Women's Studies from the University of Maine. And how, and how long have you been a SANE nurse? I began my training August of 2005, and I completed it in March. It was, my certificate of completion came to me in March of 2006. We would tend to her as a witness in the area of sexual abuse, sexual assault, sexual assault. keep calling it sexual abuse, sexual assault. I can't hear Mr. Freeman. We, 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 would, we would tend to her as an expert in the area of sexual assault. Uh, do you need to do that? Isn't she a fact witness and can testify as to what opinion she gave? I, yeah. I, I just don't want to keep the record as simple as possible, unless, if that's sufficient. That's fine. Okay. Did you have the opportunity to see Crystal Mann? Yes, I did. When did you see Crystal Mann? The morning of March 14th. Mm -hmm. The morning of March 14th? Yes, sir. Approximately what time did you see her? Well, my shift starts at 7. Um, I get report, like I usually do, and then I was asked by the charge nurse to take this case that had come in the night before. So at some point after 7 o'clock is when um, I first met Ms. Mangum. 7 a.m.? After 7 a.m. And when you first saw her, where was she? She was in what's called um, our old fast track hallway. They're doing renovations at the time. She was on a stretcher in one of the old fast track rooms. And was she with anyone? At that moment, she was not. You're going to need to speak up. The acoustics in here are really bad. Where should I start from again? It was called the fast track. It's the old hallways they had done be doing renovations at the time. It was in a room off, the, off that hallway. And when she first came in, who was she with? I found her by herself. And what did you, did you understand why she was there to see you? I knew from the charge nurse that she had come in complaining um, that she was looking for a sexual assault kit to be done. So I knew that that was my role to go and um, perform a sexual assault exam. Did you smell any alcohol about her? I did not. She appeared, did she appear impaired to you in any fashion? She did not. Over what period of time were you with her? I have to look at the documents to be perfectly sure, but after 7 a.m. until her discharge was in that afternoon. Would you say you were with her approximately six or seven hours? I have to look at the documents to be perfectly sure, but she was discharged sometime after in the afternoon. If you could look at exhibit number 204. How do You go to page five. Mm -hmm. See where it says ten thirty. I do. Can you see? Look, look to the fourth line down. See if that helps refresh your recollection as to how long you were with her that night or that morning. I'm sorry. Could you tell us what page we're on? Page five. And which entry? Which entry? I just can't hear you. Ten thirty. It says that she stayed the victim from that point, never changed her thing for six, seven hours, the time period where they were together. So it must have been approximately that time I was with her. And during that period of time with her, what did you do? I examined her, um, did head to exam. Dr. Manley performed the entire kit, and I assisted Dr. Manley in performing the SBI kit. Dr. Manley performed the pelvic exam, and I um, then retained chain of custody of the kit. Without going into details of everything she told you, did she tell you what? Did she tell you uh, what events she alleged to occur during those early morning hours? She um, she said that there was ejaculation in her mouth. 
that she's orally that Again, just without going through all the details, did okay. she tell you what had occurred during the early morning hours, what she said had occurred during early morning hours of March 14th? I'm not sure I clearly understand the question you're asking, sir. Did she tell you? She came in um, telling, did she come in telling you that she had been sexually assaulted? Yes, she did. Did she give you a version of, the, of what she said had happened during yes, the sexual did. assault? Yes, she did. Was she consistent with you during the time you were with her about that version? Yes, she was. Did her, during that six or seven hour period, did her version ever change? No, sir. And did she, uh, was a physical exam done as well? Yes, it's a physical exam at some point. Between what you observed and the physical exam, did she appear to you to be consistent with someone who'd been the victim of a sexual assault? Based on what her, based on what she had reported to me, and then on her physical findings of tenderness, there was a congruency between her report and her findings. And you reported that, um, you asked her specifically whether condoms were used? I did. And she told you no? Yes. Based on your experience as a SANE nurse, do you know if, uh, if sexual assault victims always know whether condoms are used? I cannot say as a SANE nurse, I can say as a nurse in my experience that Patients have come in looking for things like the morning after pill because they were not sure that a condom was used in it before. Has your experience been of someone, so they were not sure whether, con did, but did they tell you that they were not sure whether a condom was used or they told you that no condom was used and then you knew the morning after? Strike that, strike that other question. <coughs> did you proceed, um, and in no time did she appear impaired to you, is that correct? She did not. Did you notice, um, was there any change in her behavior when males were around? When I first encountered Ms. Mangum, I had gone and gotten a Durham crisis response counselor who was in the waiting area. And she had a, um, he came back to the room with me before I brought her to the same room. Um, I left to go get a wheelchair for her to, get, to go to the same room. And she began screaming when I left the room when she left alone with the drug crisis response order. Were you interviewed, um, were you interviewed by Detective Hyman? I, I gave a phone, uh, there's a phone call from Detective Hyman. And that, is that interview reflected on Exhibit 204, with the first entry? Is this one that you asked me about prior? No, your first interview was with... Look at Exhibit 202. Okay. Your first interview... Um, Look good down where it says 31606, 1100 hours. You see that? I do. Um, and does that reflect the interview? You, if you have a chance to look at that, um, does that reflect what you were able to talk about with Detective Hyman on that occasion? That's true. You were not unable to divulge the patient information, but you stated there were signs consistent with the sexual assault during the test. Is that correct? That's true. 